Hello YouTube friends, this is Recovering Yankee. Today is the 13th and I have something I would like to show you. I am about to cook six eggs and I'm going to get some um, a pound of chicken meat like I did the other day. But here's the problem with cooking six eggs. This is a 10 inch pan. Now it's beautiful for cooking two or three eggs, but it's too small to cook six eggs. What ends up happening is the as you pour the eggs in, it makes a layer that's about uh, at least a half inch deep of egg egg matter. Okay, and so when you cook it, you try to make an omelet out of it or something like that. Uh, what ends up happening is the material on the bottom gets cooked, and the liquid on the top stays liquidy for a little bit of time, and then it. If you keep going and going and going, you're burning the bottom of the eggs, and the liquidy part of the eggs still doesn't get cooked well. It takes a little bit of a while. So uh, I, I was tired of doing that. I'm not, this pan is really good. Okay, I'm not ashamed of the pan. But it takes too long to cook it. So I, I came to a conclusion that I wanted to buy a longer griddle, what they call a double griddle pan. I think that's what it's called. Hold on a second. Okay, it's called a cast iron double burner. So I had to um, buy one of these. Now what I want to show you is this, how this works. It obviously, you can see it's big. It's about 18 inches long from here to here and about 13 inches wide. Okay, now why is that important? Because double burner means it has to go across two burners. Well, on this stove, these two burners, that's a burner and that's a warmer. That's a burner that's a burner and of course the big burner is under here okay that's the big burner now it's too small the the big burner is too small for this whole pan as you can see it's only about the bait 12 inches in the middle here that leaves a few inches on each side here and here so double burner I can't put it across this one and this one because this is a warmer and this is an actual burner so and I can't put it across here because look it does it doesn't fit I put it across the small one in the back, along with this one, it doesn't fit. So I can't use that one in the middle, so I have to use these two right here. Now what you do is you have you cannot cook this on high. Too high it'll burn the pan. It'll make the pan bend. It'll warp it. So I'm gonna put it on um, medium. I'm gonna put it on medium. I'm gonna add butter to it as necessary. I already cleaned it in my, my sink today. So, and then I'm going to, I'm going to stir these eggs up. And here's what I'm going to use to stir the eggs up. I watched some videos on this online with chopsticks. So let me see if I can do it on the phone here. Uh, one, uh, uh, Uncle Roger says that if you use a whisk, you're a white person. So <laughs> I want to be cool. I want to be a cool Asian. So watch what I'm doing here. That's how you mix them with the chopsticks. And it, maybe, it looks like it's more efficient when you mix it. You've got to keep the chopsticks separated a little bit. So now Uncle Roger will approve of my Asian-ness. Uncle Roger is this video channel. He, um, he kind of picks on everyone that's cooking something. They cook the wrong way. Especially egg fried rice. So now, I'll, now I can be considered a cool Asian. Okay, so. Okay, I just added some pepper, some salt, and some garlic. I will also add some of this fish sauce made by Red Boat. That's my favorite brand. I buy it at a local Asian supermarket. Uncle Roger's really going to be pleased. Okay, the instructions say to heat the pan up very slowly and don't go past medium heat. Medium heat is right there. I'm going to start it on two. And I'm going to heat it up until it gets to 
as it heats up, I'm going to increase the heat to number five, which is medium, right? This is ten, eight, six, for four. So I'm going to put it on the five one in a little bit. Here's my heat thermometer. See, it's got a laser, and it's 92.3 degrees right now. Maximum temperature on this pan is 350. You don't want to go any higher than 350 because it will start warping. I should test it in both places instead of just testing it in one place. 103.2, 95.9, so it's not evenly heating. I'm not sure if the, maybe this is not a very good pan. We'll see. Make sure I have it evenly on the burners. Yeah. Okay. So, when I make the eggs, when it gets up to the right temperature, I'm going to add the butter. And I'm going to add, which right there, that looks like a one, one and a half tablespoons of butter. I'm going to add some cheese. And I want to show you guys how much cheese I'm adding. So you can tell me if you think it's too much. Or maybe it's just the right amount. I'm sorry, I'm shining at the Lysol cans. I meant to hold on the cheese. So hold on. Notice the time of the day. It's 3 o'clock when I'm getting ready to make my eggs. I have my stove set on military time. See, once I got out of the Navy, I still used the military time. That's 1454, which is the same as 254 in the afternoon. You have to say a lot more words when you're not using military terminology. It's easier to say 1454 than it is to say 254 p.m. in the afternoon. Okay, another reason why this pan, although it's a good pan, it's not good for six eggs. Because when you try to scoop up and make an omelet out of it, it's very difficult to get the omelet on the same edge as the spatula. And it's hard to, it's hard to turn it because of the fact that it's all liquidy. So you can't turn it with the spatula. That's why I'm going to like this pan. Hopefully I'm going to like it. Now I'm going to add the eggs. As you can see, there's the eggs in the pan, and they move to the, the pan. The oven is not level. So when I get done with those eggs, I'm going to do some of the back legs to make it level. But look how easy it will be to flip it. It's already starting to get hard in the different areas. So let's see if I can flip it. See that? Makes it easy to flip. Now, I haven't tried my new method of stirring the eggs, making what they call tornado eggs yet, on this pan because it's a brand new pan. I just got it last night. That's going to be later. Maybe a couple days from now. I'll practice the tornado twisting. Twist the eggs like a tornado. It's really good looking, and it tastes good too. So Now, I'm going to add some cheese, and you can see how much cheese I'm going to add here. It's not that much. I'm going to put that back. It's not that much cheese, I don't think. Tell me what you think. Do you think it's too much cheese? So far, I'm not impressed. I, this is, I've been pausing between steps, so I can... Um, Make sure that I do it properly, uh, my cooking properly, but uh, as you can see, this part of the eggs have cooked, and this part is still wet. So, I'm not sure if I like this burner or not. And this is not about the brand of the burner. Okay, there it is. It's all done now. It's not about the brand of the burner. It's about the efficiency of it. So, I'm going to take it off the heat, and... There's my eggs. There's my six eggs for the day. And because my dog is a nice, a nice little girl, I'm going to give her one. So I'll only eat five eggs today. I'll give her this piece right here. Okay. Share this with your friends. Hit like if you like. And maybe if you feel like you want to bless me, give me a subscription. Thank you very much.